What's up guys, welcome to Biohacking Explained. My name is Daniel and I'm a biohacker that has been experimenting with his own body for a couple of years. I want to share with you what has worked with me and what has. Today we're gonna to be diving deep into the subject of AOD 9604, otherwise known as anti-obesity drug 9604. This peptide was developed by researchers at Monash University in Australia and it was deemed the holy grail for anti-obesity. So what happened to it? It really got outshined by the GLP ones that we know today. So the difference between AOD and other peptides is that AOD is a small sequence of the growth hormone while other peptides try to mimic growth hormone itself through different pathways. AOD is a small sequence more specifically between the C terminus of 176 and 191. By focusing on that small sequence of 176 to 191, AOD is focusing primarily on the fat loss part of growth hormone without all the other potential risks. People are always afraid about the insulin resistance and cancer and growth risks that growth hormone itself supposedly has. I don't believe that growth hormone itself has those risks unless you're doing super physiological levels of it. So there's nothing to worry about there, but the people that are, people that can't have the IGF-1 levels higher due to cancer risk, AOD is for you. One thing that you do have to keep in mind with AOD is that it's only gonna benefit you with your metabolism. It's not gonna help you with bone density or muscle growth or any of the other benefits that growth hormone does have with your skin and hair. AOD is gonna promote lipolysis, so that's targeting the fat cells that you already have stored in your body in order to use them as energy, and it's gonna inhibit lipogenesis. So that's the production of new fat cells into your body. Other additional benefits that you're gonna see from AOD is cartilage health, metabolic health and recovery, and your calorie expenditure is gonna be a little bit higher than before. So unlike semaglutide or trizepatide, AOD is not gonna have any muscle wasting. Now, with GLP-1s, it's a little bit tricky. People tend to think that there is a lot of muscle wasting with them, but I tend to see if you are training the right way and you're eating enough proteins, the muscle wasting is minimal. So the main benefits that you're gonna see with AOD are better cardiovascular health, your appetite suppression, weight loss, especially in those stubborn areas, and sleep recovery. All right, so this is the section that everybody's been waiting for, dosages. How would you dose AOD? Remember guys, so AOD comes from a sequence of growth hormones, so you would actually take it like a growth hormone peptide, five days on and two days off. And I would do eight week cycles and eight weeks off. If you did decide to titrate the dose to 500 micrograms with AOD, I would divide the dose up to two and do it fast at 250 micrograms in the morning and 250 micrograms at night. And that way you're gonna see better sleep recovery. Now, what side effects could you experience with AOD. So to be honest guys, this is a pretty safe peptide. The things you're gonna see is the run of the mill side effects. So nausea, a little bit of fatigue, maybe a skin rash in the injection area, but nothing out of the ordinary. AOD is pretty effective, but the best way to use it would be stacking it with other peptides. So I'm gonna give you the list and what I would do and what I've done in the past with my own body, what has really, really worked. I would stack AOD with retitrutide, Ipamorlin and BPC-157. And I'll tell you exactly why and what dosages I would use. So the stack would go like this. AOD, I would use it at night, 250 to 500 micrograms. Ipamorlin, I would use it in the morning, fasted, another 250 to 500 micrograms. And retitrutide, I would start of a dose of 0.5 milligrams, so 500 micrograms, one time per week, and I would titrate up as the weeks come by. BPC-157, I would do it at night, 250 to 500 micrograms, and this is gonna help your joints feel more loose, especially if you're training more and your training intensity goes to a higher level, it's gonna help you with that. Together, all these peptides are gonna help you lose the highest amount of body fat while preserving as much muscle as possible and you feeling great while you do it. If I was putting AOD in simple terms, AOD would be be a sniper rifle while growth hormone peptides are a shotgun. All right guys, so this concludes our comprehensive overview of AOD 9604. Don't forget to comment peptide below for my free longevity and looks maxing peptide cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to comment below, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.